Hello my very few subscribers. Here's another unboxing thing. I backed this thing on Kickstarter a long ass time ago called Pine64. And this is what they sent me in an envelope. My initial impression is less than stellar considering there's random electron components lying around. That's not exactly... So the packaging is definitely leaving stuff to be desired. Let's see what's in here, if there's any instructions in this mess. Random tape to the other component. Beat to hell box. It's a teeny weeny puny itty bitty remote control. <laughs> remote. Alright, why there's a button, I'm not sure. It's attached to the remote, but that's a button. Button. We have the power supply. Now, what is in this little semi-squished semi box, do you think? Uh, first, I need a sharp object to open this easily. Alright. So. This is the baseboard, apparently. Believe it or not, this is actually larger than I was picturing in my head. But this is supposed to be its own computer. And this right here is a motherboard. So now, what do I do? Flopping, busted things. That's what's in here. Aha! I have screws. I have... These are heavy. These feel like they're solid. They look like batteries, but I've never seen a battery that looks like this. Perhaps these are structural standoffs? Because these things weigh a fair bit right now. Hmm. Well, in any event, now that I'm holding them, I notice these tops come off. Yes. Wow, they really come off. The screw just keeps going. Nothing in there. Alright, so these are definitely standoffs. Or, I really hope they're standoffs. How or what they'd be used for, I'm not sure. Because these holes in the corner are way too small for this. Let's see what happens. See, this wouldn't go, this would not go through that. So, what the hell is, I'm not sure. What's in here? This is a, a piece of metal. Oh, a piece of plastic. Okay, so this is where they go. Well, that explains one or two things. This is the base plate, this goes here, the standoff go in these holes, and this other plate goes up top, creating the frame for now where the hell do these buttons go? I don't want to go sticking things in places where it looks like they may go and I don't really know what I'm doing. There's also this. It is being a pain about opening, there we go. I believe this is a Wi-Fi module, which means that an antenna, and this, well, at least this one is clear where it goes. It goes right here. I need to line up. Okay, Wi-Fi module installed. Which, okay, we've included one push button switch in the shipment. This kit started stretched all not a loose part. You can solder yourself and use the switch for either power on or reset function. The switch is optional and doesn't affect the fine board functionality. Well, I guess that refers to one of these things. 
And what's the other one for? And that's the totality of the documentation. A little thing that says they gave me a sixteen did card and Well, when you give someone this little there could be some kind of instruction somewhere. So I don't know where anything goes. Okay. This is a micro SD card. Ah, this is a micro SD port. So at least I found the micro SD port. So that's in there. What is this? What is this butt switch thing? It's got three holes in it. Power battery. VBAT RTC. But if it's not gonna they didn't include any kind of pinouts or and, and solder myself, I'm not soldering to this. Even, hmm. I mean that's a three pin button, this is a three pin hole. Makes me think it's supposed to go in there, but there's no labeling of any kind, and it's not like the Wi-Fi card where there is there was very obviously only one space it could go. Those are USBs. That's a micro USB. Uh -huh. And do I yet? I mean, seriously, guys, some kind of instruction manual. There really is nothing else. All right, I'm going to grab a screwdriver to put this thing in. Okay, and now for assembly. Okay, here's the thing assembled. I don't, still don't know what those other bits do, so I'm not attaching them yet. But I have myself an HDMI cord, which should go in the HDMI slot. Oops. And this thing is a power cord, which shall go in the power slot. A little light turns on, that's always a good sign. Here is the television. Where is the television remote? TV remote. Oh, there you are, TV remote. All right, so input, 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 input. Source. We want HDMI 2. Is this going to show anything? I see nothing. Ooh, I see a thing. Wow, that's working. Hey, 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 look at this. That little widget, I just plugged it in and it's working. Now the question is, can I get it to do anything? Because the remote they sent with theirs, predictably, has no batteries. Okay, I found out what that strange little thing that I didn't know what it was is. It's the signal receiver for the remote. A little annoyed that it didn't tell me how to put it in. I just guessed orientation and it seems to be working. So now I need to log into my Wi-Fi. I want to show a password. I want to actually start typing it, please. Um. Do I have to actually, wait a minute, does this want me to actually plug a keyboard into this because I can't navigate? Or why is there, I need a capital, how do I shift? I mean, one, that's obviously not right. What did I just do? Huh, all right, this U. How do I control the numbers across this bottom thing? I have a remote. I 
Oh, geez. Now I, I have mouse mode. Where I literally am using arrows on this thing to move the mouse around to click on shift. And then click on my annoying ass password. Okay, the thing seems to like my standard Logitech keyboard and mouse with no problem. I can make the little cursor move around and whatnot. So let's see what I can do with this deal. Um, and it's that, again, it's that teeny weeny little thing there and it's sending out to my 4K television. And I just clicked on... I, use, I understand how Chrome works. A lot of crap, yes, I, I know my info, thank you. Okay then, um, Y-O-U-T-U-B-E dot com, Let's, this is the important stuff. Will it operate YouTube dot com? What the hell just happened? Why does it say M dot YouTube dot com? Why do I not see anything that looks like YouTube dot com? Hmm. Alright, well, let's try this video. Eh, this is certainly interesting. Ah, what just happened? Hello? I don't want to visit the advertiser site. I want you to play a video. What is going on? The website loaded fine. Where is no playing? Hmm. Hello? You're obviously online. Why are you not loading? Alright, let's... Hmm. Come on, you. It spins, it hits the button. What is with this stuff on the bottom of the screen? I don't need that. I want, what I want is for this to actually start playing. Oh, full screen works. Swipe down to top edge of full screen, okay. So that means I do this. Why YouTube no play? When, what is this trap? And how come it's not coming? There it is. What are you? Eh, whatever. Away. Okay, that's not working. Yes, yes, I know I closed YouTube. It's just it wasn't doing anything. Will anything else work? Yeah, uh. This thing is obviously Android based and is using everything in web mode, which, hey, see that loaded just fine. Okay, it's not loading super quick, but I can see Elizabeth Warren and I can see stuff about what are those jackasses did this time or whatever. More bit of this. So, I mean, this works. Now, how the hell do I get back to the home screen? The escape button, I thought the escape button was what I pressed last time. Um, delete. Home. Home. I don't want to install half post for Android. I, I want to minimize. Thank you. Home screen. Why couldn't I do that with a mouse? What happens if I go into here, I type YouTube, what just happened? YouTube. 
and then I install the YouTube app. Wow, this is taking its sweet ass time now, isn't it? It says downloading. Alright, maybe I'll have to finagle its position, see if I can get a better place where I just put a better Wi Fi signal, because right now, this is very clearly going slow. A largely text based site like HuffPost won't find this just as downloading and doesn't even give me a progress time. I mean, it says I have a reasonable connection to the Wi-Fi, so there's no good reason why it shouldn't be doing should be doing this. Hmm. What is click on? Oh, okay. Don't know what this little thing on the bottom does. Well, I'll probably have to figure this out eventually because right new. If I go back to YouTube, is it just going to say downloading already? Yeah, in downloading, but no progress on how long that'll take. Well, that's not comforting. Well, I'll get back to this later. Alrighty, it took its sweet ass time and refused to do anything for a long time there, but eventually, I think it had to do background stuff it wasn't telling me about. But, stick but with me. see? Take jokes. Jokes are it's working now! In your brain and when you tell the joke to another I'm not going to show the entire video because obviously it's not mine, but it turns out that this thing functions! Little Pine 64, $64 computer plays on my nice big 4K screen. Works with standard plug and play keyboard and mouse, and it has its own little controller. And it goes online and plays YouTube videos. And right now it's not full screen, but I can do that. So, so this thing seems to be functional. I turned it off Wi Fi and put it on hardline so it's a little bit more reliable at this point. Well, that's the end of that, I guess. <laughs> Remember to rate and subscribe to my channel if you would.